It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Broncos and the Silver and Black. Next on Madden NFL 25. Opened in 2020 and immediately one of the main attractions here on the Las Vegas Strip. Scott and Brock, let's dive right in. What are you looking forward to in this one? Yeah, just about every day, Kate, but these are two such evenly matched teams. You and I know there's going to be two, three, four plays in this game that will likely define the outcome. That is the beauty of the NFL each and every weekend, each and every Thursday and Sunday and Monday night. They come down to a couple plays. Who will they be? What will they be? When will they be? Tune in and watch. He's setting his offense up in the red zone, which is pretty darn good. Raiders getting their first shot inside the red zone. They've got first and 10 from the 20. They give it to Madison. shy away from embracing contact on the play right up the gut. Come on. You know getting that toss in the open field is so much more fun. And on that play, well, it's certainly more exciting for all of us to watch, too. They've made it to first and goal on their opening drive, hoping to start this game with six. White can't push it across. They make the stand. It looks like they might have stopped him a little bit behind the line, too. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Inside him, off goes to Madison. And he's not going to reach the end zone. They bring him down at the one. Back-to-back -back run, stopped short, and now it leaves him with a big third and goal. Well, you haven't given up the goal line yet, but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with the loss and make a difficult... Here runs it across, touchdown! The Raiders take a 6-0 lead on their opening drive. For the offense, you gotta love it, Brock. Points to begin the game as he runs it in for an opening drive touchdown. And you've got one very happy running back right over there on the sideline right now. These backs, they do feel the pressure to find the end zone every single week. It's not easy to do. But to do it this early and get it out of the way, big time. Daniel Carlson on for the PAT. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Raiders will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Set now for the kickoff. 
Marvin Mims now to return it. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. To the Broncos offense, getting set for their first drive. And we let out by the final quarterback taken in the first round of this year's draft. A lot of experience from Oregon and Auburn. It's Bo Nix. I know technically, Kate, that Bo Nix is a rookie. Jeez, watching him perform over 61 starts, five years of college football. This is a grown up. This is an adult the Broncos are getting. So much experience, and he's going to be able to handle such a deep playbook for these Broncos. The drive will start out with a first and ten. Now the first run of the game for Javante Williams. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. As that linebacker makes that tackle right in the middle of the field, all I'm thinking about right now, Kate's training camp. Because <laughs> that's the middle drill right there. That is textbook. What you do in training camp, coming to life when it matters. Draw play. This is Williams. This one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. Pickup of 12 on that play. And the Broncos will have a first down. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football are on the importance of good fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh-uh, it's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. Whiteout's getting involved in the ground game. And they bring him down after he ran through him up to the 43. It's a solid seven-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. Well, this is a headache-inducing run for a defensive coach. I could just imagine that staff both upstairs and down on the field watching the kick because now we don't have to just worry about this guy catching his receiver. Now they know he can be a weapon in the ground game, too. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. stat sheet but let me tell you Kate that's the real deal right there you run for that kind of yardage consistently in the NFL you do set yourself up for success offense set for a first and ten out of the gun it's Knicks got a man it's Marvin Mims and they have this down to the 11 before being marked down and that one goes for a gain of 11 and that would be good for a Denver first. Up 
the gut they go to Williams. In the middle holds, they don't get anything on the run. Now after the run, we see he's visibly shaken up. Team medical staffers headed over to take a look. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. A tight end in motion now. Now running for the first time with Audrey Estime. And the struggles from the last play carry into this one. This also just gets back to the line. These linebackers of today, they are so quick. They're so twitchy. You don't get a body on them in a hurry, they're going to stick you right at the line of scrimmage. Third and ten. Can this offense get it done? Shotgun snap to Knicks. Four snap to his run. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop it. And the defense comes through to back them up and hit a fourth down. I think his decision-making were to check that his legs couldn't catch this time. <laughs> this QB can run, and he's raging, looking for space, looking for an outlet. But there was none to be had. No escape route available this time. Will Lutz get the call on fourth down to put three up here for the Broncos. This is going to be a 38 yarder from the right half. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it's dropped back down now to a four point game. You know, you look at that third down play, looking back, and it really turns into a three point play. That's why situational work is so critical. Coaches talk about it all the time. Sure, you love the field goal, but man, they would love to touch down more. A return from the seven. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. So following the return, looks like somebody's shaken up. Trainers have to determine how severe this may be. First and ten now from the 30. Out of the gun, Madison. He's corralled after a modest four-yard gain. Brandon Jones up for the stop. You know, okay, these are some of the little hidden plays in a game. It right? doesn't look like a whole lot on the stat sheet, but A, it gets you good yardage. B, it sets up your play action. And C, most importantly, Keeps that defense guessing. Here's Madison again. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. That's got to be so frustrating for the running. You're fighting the good fight. He even ripped through a tackle to stay afloat. But the blocking can't buy you enough time or room to even get back to the line of scrimmage. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Play action. It's Minshew. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down. But that is a big game and a new set of downs. Wow, they get a big old 32 yards out of that play as well as a new set of downs. He just made a difficult throw to the outside look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helps set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet. So the big play moves him well past midfield, has him set up now at the 35. Up the middle they go with Madison. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. 
If there's ever a play we could call garden variety in the NFL, <laughs> I think we just saw it right there. That's an uneventful run and a pretty sound stop there defensively. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 34. I think I could see his eyes from the booth. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. You gotta secure the pick before anything else. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. On the shotgun, Minshew. This ball's cut by Bowers. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You get this big old dude like him in the slot, it's an automatic mismatch advantage. You train a little bit of speed, sure. And you sure do get a lot of size. And anytime he's in the slot, you gotta assume the ball's going his way. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Minshew working from the gun. Fit in beautifully for the touchdown. Okay, this is one of those moments where a quarterback's got to take his pre-snap read and make sure he confirms it quickly post-snap. And when he does, mm. and he's got space to fit that post in, like you said, it's a thing of beauty. Bouncing good on the extra point. And the Raiders drive their lead to 11. All set now for the kickoff. On the return, here's Mims. Now bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. The Denver offense taking the field for their second drive. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. From the gun, a carry by Williams. And he's able to work this down to the 41. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, it's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and they move the sticks. On second down, a run with Williams. And he's able to get this down to the 36. It's the end of the first in this AFC West showdown. It's a two-score game early. We'll return to Allegiant Stadium right after this. We're back, and it is Broncos football as we resume. They're looking 
looking at yet another first and ten on this drive. Allen falls to the turf, couldn't hang on, it's incomplete. Trying to find his tight end. And now they face second down. You know, he might complete 99 out of 100 of those short, simple routes to the tight ends. Even the shortest and simplest of throws, it's due to end up in a drop at some point. Give to Williams from the gun. And he gets this one down to the 30-yard line. Seven yards on the carry. Now they've got third and three. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. He has the first over the middle. And they get this down to the 12-yard line before being stopped. They'll get 18 yards there. And the Broncos will have a first down. and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them. And that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. Will Lutz now on for the extra point. Right down the middle. It's good. And the Broncos cut the lead down to four. If they keep scoring every time they touch this football. Is that how it works? It, it surprisingly is. You know, if you have the lead and you don't lose it, you win. <laughs> <laughs> and that type of start, well, you wanted all 17 games of a season, but you're lucky to get it more than once. They're out and set. First and ten. From the gun, a run for Madison. And he's brought down for a loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his own line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Out of the gun, Minshew. Has him on the quick hitter. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a big, trustworthy tight end in the passing game. Such great size to have, and he forces those defenses to find a way to try to match up when they can't. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Throwing here, Minshew. from the inside out. That time, beautiful job by the defense 
of taking away the middle of the field, getting that interception, and setting their offense up for success. The Broncos and Cortland Sutton taking the field once again. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. Good starting field position for the Broncos as they get ready for first and ten. Drive begins with a run. It's Williams. He's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. That's a pretty good stop on first down. This defense now gets a chance to dictate, and that's what all the great defenses want to do, Kate. They want to dictate it on their terms and not just be reacting to what the offense is always doing. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Here's Nick's to throw. Finds Mims. And cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Third and just two to go. Running for the marker with Williams. for no gain on the play, and that'll bring up fourth and two. That's one of those plays, Kate, as an offense. It just sticks with you a little bit. It bothers you that you just can't convert on a very manageable down and distance. And on the other side, it sure gives you some confidence defensively to get off the field. Broncos looking at a punt on fourth down, and Riley Dixon on the handle that. This one carries out of bounds. Not the greatest field position awaiting them. It's spotted at the 11. Out comes Las Vegas on offense. They are coming off their first interception of the game. This drive now a chance to rebuild some confidence. Drive starts out with a first and 10. They go with Madison here. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. His goal is pretty clear, Kate. Crash forward and then crash inside. Set that edge. But if you could come inside and bury that runner before it gets started, all the better. All right, here we go. Second down. They've got a man in motion. Minshew looking to throw. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Minshew. He'll get this one to Madison. Down. We've heard it said, and I believe it to my core, football is the ultimate team sport. And a well-run screen like that is the ultimate team play because it takes all 11 doing their job. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and 10. They give it to Madison. Long gain up by handful there. Brandon Jones up for the stop. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. You know, that's a good run right there to keep the offense on schedule. If he can average that type of yards per carry, this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Putting a receiver in motion. Third and short, here's Minshew. It's incomplete, should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it 
goes. Hey, listen, drops happen in football, even from the best at every level. Nothing more to do but shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be right back your way. Now the Raiders ready in for the punt, and they'll turn to former All-Pro A.J. Cole for the kick. And he's getting nothing on that return. They wrap him up almost at the exact spot that he fielded that punt. The Broncos about to get going on offense. Javante Williams headed back out now. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Straight ahead with Williams. And all he can get is one yard. Ran that right into the defensive front. Well, now this defense is in the driver's seat, Kate. Right? When you make a stop like that on first down, you know, it's your discretion with just how aggressive you want to be following that play up. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Getting out to his left. He's going to keep it this time. Give him 13 on that play. And that'll be good for a Denver first. I can promise you, that was the goal from the moment he took off. He kept his eyes locked on the chains. It's almost like he had a spidey sense. He knew exactly where to get in order to move the sticks and get that critical first down. It's with it on first. He's marking one or something here. This chucks it away. They would sure love to connect on some of these intermediate throws, those two throws. Getting a completion like that, well, not only does it spark your offense, but it just sets you up for even more aggressive play calling. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. On the handoff, this is Williams. And they'll bottle this up after a four-yard game. Nate Hobbs in on that stop. They get about four there, need a little more than that now on third and six. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as they can reliably get games like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. On third down, here's Knicks. Buck Williams, and it's complete. And he's able to move past the 45 before going out. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And this looks like it got just inside the 20 as it flew out, and indeed it did. They're putting the ball at the 19-yard line. Time for the Raiders' offense to hit the field. They didn't add to their lead last time out. They punted it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. Throwing the out route complete. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. There's no route on the old proverbial route tree, Kate, that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Inside hand off goes to Madison. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Call it seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. That was the perfect play call for that particular situation. Gave them enough to pick up a first with some room to spare. They've got first down from the 31. Makes the handoff. Now Minshew. Pocket isn't big enough. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. In theory, Kate, that's exactly what complimentary man coverage is supposed to look like. The DBs, well, they're sticky on the back end of it. 
The front end, that pass rush, it makes an impact that gets home. But of course we know it's not that simple. It is really tough to lock down a full field for more than a second or two. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Here's Madison. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Call it a gain of four. And now it's third down and that unlucky 13. You know, Kay, one of the reasons it's so hard to run the ball in the NFL is to move grown men off their spot against their will. You get a run play like that, you've done your job. You've moved them against their will, and you've set yourself up for some later success. He's on the move. They're making big for it on the ground. And he rips off good yardage, but it will not move the chains. You know, that's a really good play. I, I know it doesn't get the first down, doesn't keep them on the field, but what it does is it keeps that defense honest. And I promise you, the next time in that situation, they'll have that run in the back of their minds. A.J. Cole on the punt. And this will be his second effort of the contest. So it's the two-minute warning here from Allegiant. It's the Raiders with a fourth and two. Las Vegas sends out the punt team. The Broncos have Marvin Mims deep to return. Got 46 on his first punt, and this one's pushing a little more distance. Denver ready for another offensive possession. They struggled to produce on that last series, but better results ahead as they take possession here. start out with a first and ten. Nick's now to throw. Big catch made, and he got both feet in. 16 yards on the play. And the Broncos will have a first down. Kate, when you watch the combine, you'll watch guys try to make this throw. And without chemistry, it's so hard to execute. That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page because that route, that deep out to the field, that takes a, just a different level of connectedness. He loves it up, looking deep to the right side. Oh, a careful throw. He had the deep shot for a moment, Brock, but he bottled it and drops it. With how hard it is to get an open look downfield, can't let the coverage off the hook with the drop. So open space started running before he was able to watch the ball into his hands. Kicks again on second and ten. Looking slant round complete. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. Broncos have to hurry here. Clock still running. They'll throw again. Knicks. Complete to Mims. And he takes it inside the 35 before heading out. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. First and ten. Here's Knicks. The sideline shot snagged by Sutton. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. The smartest pass catchers I've ever been around, they know how to set up an outcut beautifully. They recognize when they have leverage, how to sell the deep out, and then boom, they just break it out as if it's nothing. The drive picks up here. First and ten. From the red zone now. and make sure you know where that throw is going and when it does you got to react and not get away that is well done couldn't connect on first it's second down they'll throw it again that one's incomplete had the connection but some stone hands got in the way there 
Portland Sutton, the man he was after. So they're left facing third and long. Hey, listen, drops happen in football. It is a part of the game, even for the very best. Nothing more to do about it now than shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be coming right back your way. He's got it near the 10. And they get this down to the 10-yard line before going down. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Play action with Mix. Escapes the pocket. And he will score. It's a Denver touchdown. The Broncos get some late points and the lead. It's a bold Mix touchdown. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. Lots there to tack on the extra point. And the Broncos push their lead to three. here and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends but you might be thinking with plays like that my guys ratings should be better well you're not alone you got a chance to let the madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking give them a call 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost they're out and set first and ten here's Minshew has a man it's Madison and he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little shorter than 35. Teammates notice when they got a guy willing to take it on the chin to get rid of the pass. That's a pass that's going to earn a lot of points with the other 10 players, not just today, but when they go back and watch that play on tape. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Minshew working from the gun. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Try getting that one to Brock Bowers. So it's going to be third and short coming up. I think everybody on the offense was already thinking about the next play to run as they watched that short little throw to the tight end. You really don't expect to see many of those gimmies dropped. Throwing now, third and two. Has him on the quick hit. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. And now the Raiders come for the first of their time. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Sticking in the air with Minshew. Complete here to Bowers. And it's a nice little chunk here, six yards. Sent down by Cody Barton. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Out of the gun, Minshew. He's on the move. He's running for it. Just not much to do right there, whether he wanted to run it or throw it. Even if he scraped a positive gain out of it, that's still a win for this defense. Off 
offense up to the line fast. Just before halftime, we get a timeout taken. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. He's back to throw. He's going to lob one deep down the left side. It's another first down mistake. He's intercepted again. And the Broncos are stopped on that return. So that interception is going to be the final play of this opening half. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the halftime report this one's been as good as advertised just a field goal separating these two teams this was a very level first half and i'd expect to see more of the same after the break as always a hat tip to coach for his hard work during the break kids we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter All set now for the kickoff. Here's Trayvon Smith with the return. Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. The Broncos with their offense headed out for our first possession of the half. And that last drive, no answer for what they were doing through the air. So expect some tighter coverage this time around. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap to Nix. Short pass brought in. And he's touched down about five yards shy of that first down marker. You've heard that very common term in draft vernacular called catching radius. Let me tell you, as a quarterback, you love tight ends on drag routes because that catching radius for such a big target, and you see him, you eye him. And there's a comfort level between QB and tight end to make that connection. Second half starts with a run by Williams. And it's almost ended worse, but he gets a yard out of it. Trayvon Merrick there for the stop. And then it's a single yard that time. They're going to have to solve third down and four. from the gun. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, where well, they come down to a play or two in third down, whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, the coach wants to see them convert those. Here comes the Broncos punting unit. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is it far. Fair catch made a little beyond the 20-yard line. We don't get a return out of that punt. And it'll be Raider football. The Raiders are back onto the field, led by Gardner Minshew. And as we can see here, it hasn't been the easiest game for him to operate out there, right? Number of rough moments for him. This defense able to pick him off twice to highlight their performance against him. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Minshew. Oh, they get to a high line, and he loses the football. And this is going to stay with the offense as he makes the recovery. Ooh, so close to a big play defensively there, Brock. But now these guys got to stay out there. They were unable to bring in the fumble. They just forced. They do. Got to bring a little bit of juice. But kind of like a boxer when they get a guy cut, they know. Mm. Man, if I get that first cut, I can make them bleed. And you get that ball out the first time, I guarantee you, I promise you, those guys are thinking they'll get it the next. This ball's cut by Bowers. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. 
The defenders, they were ready for that throw, stopping him right at the line of scrimmage. Broncos bringing out an extra DB, third down coming up. From the shotgun, Minshew. He's going to loft one deep to the left. And disaster averted. He knocks away the deep ball incomplete. That one firmly denied by the man in coverage. And now they're staring at fourth and long. Any DB prefers a highlight reel interception to just forcing an incomplete pass. But as soon as he realized the pick wasn't possible on the play, he gets his hands on it and makes sure it wasn't completed. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. Collects this at the 35. And he's brought down before the return gets far. That punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And the Broncos get set to take over. Set up at the 35 now. Nick's with it on first. Quick slant caught by Sutton. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. I can guarantee you that's going to be in Tell the Truth Monday right there in the film room, front and center, showing you the importance of tackling in the open field. An opportunity to cut him down sooner, but the broken tackle allowed him to add those extra yards to the catch. Just need two more yards that they couldn't get on that last play. Here's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. His third total score this game. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end brought the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain. He did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise. As you said, you got to be able to create when a play breaks down. And when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group of confidence. One after try is good by Lutz. And the Broncos make it a 10-point ball game. Set to kick this away. Fielded at the seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Raiders have their offense back out there. And they're going to try to take the lead back to one possession here after that last score pushed it up to 24-14. Off 
offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Here's the gift to Madison. And they're going to drag him down after a decent gain. He gets up to the 36. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby. But you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you could win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length, it may not be a home run. It may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. From the 36, that's complete. Here's Madison. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Play like this, that's exactly where you want to get him the ball, right on the outside, where he's got the space and a lot more room to work. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Out of the gun, Madison. And he drives that front backward on a gate of four. Second and six coming up here. So early movement for the backfield, Brock. They jump the gun a bit. That brings out the flag. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Throwing here, Minshew. Completed over the middle. And that will not be enough for a first down. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. They give now to Madison. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. This game has evolved so much over the years, but there's just certain times, there's certain moments, some flashes of greatness like that, that you see Dick Buckets, that you see Jack Lambert, that you see Mike Singletary, these middle linebackers stuffing a run, this guy in particular, like the greats used to do. The Raiders bringing out the punting unit, and he's been getting all of it every time out. Getting about 50 yards of boot so far, and here's another quality effort. And this one adventures out of play on the fly. The question is where it's marked. Looks like they'll say the 17-yard line. The Broncos and quarterback Bo Nix gearing up for their next series. The drive will start out with a first and ten. Up the gut they go with Williams. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. Second and six coming up here. Stay on the ground with Williams. And his drive up the middle gets him about three. Tracked down by Robert Spillane. And it's a nickel look by the Raiders. Third down coming up. Here's Nix. You know, Kate, my years in Indianapolis with Kate, and he loved to know the tendencies of the defense. In third and short, more often than not, all across the league, you get man-to-man -man coverage. It really is a good time to throw. Unfortunately, couldn't execute that pass in a fourth down since then. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And he can't evade the coverage team for much. They stop him before he gets really anything on that return. 58 yards on the punt there. And it's going to be their football coming up. Oh, take it to the house. 
They've got first down from the 31. Minshew looking to throw. Complete. It's Meyer. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Back to throw. Minshew. He'll get this one to Madison. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. A 70-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. It is so hard for these defenses. I don't envy them at all. We try to monitor where these running backs are. Are they chipping? Are they delaying their route? Is such an underrated part of their overall passing game. Up the middle they go with Madison. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Minshew to throw. Got a man. Bowers has it. And the Broncos are in the nickel for this third down. Minshew working from the gun. Fires one deep down the road. Brought in inside the 20. It's a 33 yard gain and a fresh set of downs. The analytics are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. You've got to get the big play. And that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. To the ground with Madison. And he gets very good yardage there. That's down inside the ten. Pickup of eight on the run. And that sets up second and two. That's what I call a rhythm starter right there. Man, offenses love execution and plays like that on first down, Kate. Because now... That playbook is wide open. All options on the table for second down. They'll go right back to Madison. And that short game is enough for a new set of down. You know what I like about a second and short run play, Kate? Yeah, I like getting a first down. But you know what I like even more? That's going to set up a play action pass in a similar down and distance. And that defense is going to have to key on the run. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Here's Madison again. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Well, partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. Wrong time to get caught for holding. Backed him up as they'll retry this first and goal. They'll run here following the penalty. And he has enough room to get about four. Still a full ten yards ahead of him. It's second and goal. They'll go left side here with White. And he drives forward for a little, maybe to the seventh. It's a three-yard pickup. That moves them a little bit closer. Third and goal coming up. Well, you get a little bit closer, but you can feel the pressure starting to mount. Unless you're committed to playing four downs here, this becomes a critical third down call. So they'll have some time to prepare for third and goal. We're at the end of our third quarter. It's Raiders football, and they'll get to work. Coming into the quarter trailing. They've held him out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. 
Minshew setting up to throw. And that one's incomplete for now. So that flag is declined, and now that's going to force this offense into a fourth-and-goal decision. So now on fourth down, the Raiders elected to send Daniel Carlson out for the field goal. A pretty automatic look for him from the left. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And it pulls him back within one score here in the fourth. His mech there, they had to have that one. And it really does set up a judgment call down on the field. And this is where special teams coach and head coach are talking about game management. You've got three timeouts left, so you really can write either script you want. Onside kick or send it deep. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. On the return, here's Mims. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Broncos running their offense out once again. Their last drive didn't make it very far before they had to punt it away, partner. So hopefully this one has some better legs to it. Set, first and ten. Nick's off the play action. Catch is made down the right sideline. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. Just excellent effort on that catch. And a lightning quick transition from bringing that football in to getting vertical. He was not content for a second to end that play where he caught it. Uh-uh. Any catch he makes, his intent is to put some serious yards on top of it. Still on the move. Coming to the line for first and ten. Play action with Mix. Chased out to his right. And he's on the move and so is the defense and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Yeah, we hear about it all the time. A short memory, right? We hear about it with quarterbacks a lot, Kate, when they make a mistake. But it works the same way for a defense, a whole position group. You have got to flush that big play, come back and play the next play, and boy, did the defense do it there. Offense to the line for second down. From the gun, a carry by Williams. And they take him down right along the 30. A four-yard run, but it doesn't help a ton. It's third and 12. To throw. Here's Nix. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. Impressive play, but they are well shot in the first down. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make him that spot to move the chains. Here comes Will Lutz. A lot riding on this field goal try. It's on the right hash for this 39-yarder. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll push it to double digits in a two-possession game. It doesn't take a math major, Kate, to realize how important that field goal was. It's now a two-score game really late and puts them in the driver's seat to go and finish this thing with the win. Set to kick this away. 
Abdullah now to return. He's got a lane up past the 30. And he manages the 35 before they can stop him. Now the Raider offense headed back to the field. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. Good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and ten. They'll run. This is Madison. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Escapes the pocket. And he evades any kind of trouble, but only a short game to show for it after sliding down. I love that play. I, I mean, that's quarterback 101. Nothing downfield. Get what you can with your legs, but so much more importantly, protect yourself. Availability, one of the most important abilities for any quarterback. Out of the pistol, Minshew. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's a money down, and nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Minshew. Oh no, the ball is loose! And the Broncos corral it! And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. You know, Kate, we talk about these wide receivers all the time and their critical body control, but I'll say this. These pass rushers in this day and age, the body control they have to get home on these sacks, but more importantly, to create these strip sacks, is so hard to do, and that is a master's class and how to take the ball away. Well done. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. They're up by two scores, Brock, but we've got some time left, so they still need to mount a drive here. Good starting field position for the Broncos as they get ready for first and ten. Throwing now, following the turnover. It is cut left side. And this one does not go far. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Off the play fake, he'll throw. Third and long. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Nicks from the gun. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. And he's out of bounds after getting across the 45. You've got to be cognizant of where the line to gain is. You can't run that route short, and you certainly can't throw it. That route's just not deep enough. You need to extend it closer to the chains for a first down. Going for it on fourth. Knicks. He finds him beyond the marker. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Oh, I love fourth downs. It just brings out the very best. And you get to see how you handle the most pressure, and it turns out they handled it pretty darn well, and now they'll keep pushing. Markers reset, ball at the 37. 
Nick's with it on first. They left him wide open. It's complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Now about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. First and goal now as they try to pad this lead. They'll throw again. Nix. He's on the move. That's just a case where you're trying to make something when there really is nothing there. There just wasn't an opening for him to work with, and he was lucky to get what he could. Second and goal coming up. Five yards to the end zone. Shotgun snap to Nix. He intercepts it. That is exactly what they needed. Robert Spillane has it. Not a lot of one play swings bigger than that one right there. That throw looked destined for six. And instead, it gets intercepted by the defense. The only way to get bigger is if he somehow returned 100 plus yards for six the other way. But what a gigantic swing of emotion. The Vegas offense getting set for another drive now. Well, we all know at this point, turnovers, the big problem for them in this game, Brock. And not surprisingly, the defense has capitalized on those mistakes on more than one occasion to their benefit. Yeah, there's a lot of things that can be tough to win football games in spite of, right? But over the test of time, turnovers are the number one thing that cost you games, especially yep. after that first one. Once there's blood in the water, you feel it with the defense. They get all over you trying to force another turnover and another and another. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Throwing here, Minshew. He gets this one to Myers. And they bring him down here at about the 13-yard line. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. Second and three now. Makes the handoff. Now Minshew. set it down. Excellent pickup to move the chains. 36 yards in the end. One thing we don't have in football is we don't have that radar gun. But if we did, Kate, this is the kind of throw when you throw it that deep outside the numbers that requires a serious fastball, serious arm strength, and he just showed it off. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Now Minshew. That's complete. Here's Madison. I know that completion doesn't move the chains, but I love it nonetheless. You make sure that defense is aware of every eligible player going out, and this time it was out of the backfield with the running back that shows he's adept at catching it as well. Options are open here. It's second and inches. Sticking in the air with Minshew. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. This defense has been trying like mad to do anything to disrupt the rhythm, get the QB off his spot. It's got to be a massive relief to see their efforts paid off on that play. Offense in the hurry up here. Throwing now, third and two. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're going to try on fourth. Trying to push this past the marker. And he doesn't get much. A small pickup down to the 42. And that might do it for him, Brock. Doesn't reach the marker as they turn it over on downs here on the fourth. 
I think every analytics book out there, Kate said, you got to go for it. You're in four down territory, down a couple scores here in the fourth. But now it's all about the defense. Can the defense come with a quick turnover or a stop to somehow, some way, spark a comeback? The visitors are ready to go, and we'll get a look at receiver Marvin Mims. And a nice drive last time out, Brock, squandered by that interception. So I think they take a repeat of everything except that final play. Good starting field position for the Broncos as they get ready for first and ten. Here's Williams to start the drive. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Big man up front said, not in my house. Let me tell you, Kate, once you're in the grasp of one of those big old fellas on the D-line, you're done. They would say it on the East Coast like this. It's over. Over. On second down, a run with Williams. And they're going to get him down just shy of midfield. Still a nice gain, though, up to the 49. Seven yards on the carry. Now they've got third and three. Here's Nix. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. That's a pickup of nine. And that'll be good for a Denver first. They go with Williams on the counter. And he sends it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. Now just four seconds after our two-minute warning, we've got another pause. Timeout taken by the defense. Second down now, seven to go. Souls in a timeout taken quickly by the defense. 150 left to go. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. Give to Williams from the gun. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. Now the Raiders using the last of their timeouts. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. Same pass, same athleticism comes to life. He looked pretty good hunting his prey right there. On third down, here's Williams. And he gets in, touchdown! The Broncos can put this out of reach as they make it a 16-point lead. Javante Williams, the touchdown! A lot of pressure on him in that moment, Brock. Find a way to score. Don't let it go to fourth and goal. And he finds a way to come through and gets in the end zone for six. And how about the other side? Beating a defense right there as well. That group who was so close to pulling off the goal line stand, yet all that motivation wasn't enough to stop him on third and goal. Extra point try now from Lutz. The point after splits the upright. And the Broncos take a three-possession lead. Here's 
Lutz set to kick this away. Abdullah now to return. He stopped on the return at the 27. Now outruns their offense to take over. And this a final opportunity to make things a little closer in that final score. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. From the shotgun, Minshew. Complete. It's Myers. And he's officially in the enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. They got 24 yards on the play. And that's good for Raiders first. Got to hurry this to the line. Minshew on first down. It's complete to Turner. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. You can't start a fire without a spark. How about a lightning bolt? What a huge gain that totally changes the tone of the drive. Back-to-back -back big plays have them all set up. First and goal here. Play action, it's Minshew. And no one had a shot at that. It's at the back of the end zone, incomplete. There was almost no resistance offered against a rush that came off the line ready to maul anything in sight. It was all the QB could do to get rid of that before he gets absolutely clobbered. So the incompletion on first, here's second and goal. Minshew working from the gun. Well, you got to have a short memory in the NFL. Incompletions happen. Now you've got to make the adjustment and go get the next one. So now, here's third and goal. Out of the gun, Minshew. same page with one another and get both ends of the play right to execute both the protection and ultimately completing that ball they certainly want that play call back three plays haven't gotten it done now a fourth to try to reach that end zone they snap it here's Minshew Get it, it's already over, but go down swinging. Unfortunately, that play, like so many of them today, Kate, has been pretty indicative of how this contest has gone. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Drive begins with a run, it's Williams. And they love to see him fighting forward, but he only gets him three. So the Broncos ride out of here with a win on the road. And partner, I know you took down plenty of division rivals in your NFL days. Heck, your conference opponents back in Washington in your college days always makes the win a little bit sweeter when it comes against a rival, doesn't it? Yeah, there's just a little bit more emotion. There just is. Yeah. I mean, you try to keep every game level, and no opponent's bigger than the other, but familiarity does breed a little more contempt, <laughs> and we could feel it today, and that's why that W is a little bit sweeter.